<clears throat> so last week uh, we studied about uh, tongues uh, and miracles and last week especially we studied about uh, miracles so we saw a uh, lot of uh, uh, miracles which uh, jesus did and uh, we also saw uh, what type of miracles are happening uh, today uh, you have seen probably the difference uh, i hope uh, uh, there is a uh, more clarity in the miracles what uh, jesus did and uh, what uh, miracles are happening now bosom brother you have any doubts regarding that one no brother i have got that point okay so then uh, let us come to the next point uh, and that is uh, regarding the visions and uh, prophecy okay so today many believe in uh, visions uh, and prophecies about particularly about telling about uh, their own personal life uh, about what is going to happen in the future in their uh, personal life uh, or what is going to happen tomorrow day after tomorrow so so many things like that uh. so what does the bible say you see so uh, many people use uh, uh, the bible references uh, saying uh, so god in the old uh, testament prophesied about uh, so many things so similarly god is also now uh, also foretelling uh, and prophesizing uh, each and every individual's life but if you see in the bible uh, god never uh, prophesied anything about a individual person in the bible nowhere uh, about a individual person's uh, references given in the prophecies of the bible if you see the bible prophecies majority uh, the prophets are uh, pictureized in the bible only after the selection of the nation of israel so if you see when this prophets are uh, coming to existence uh, if you see they never uh, were there when the israel people were led uh, out of uh, egypt you see when they entered the canaan land there were no prophets there no prophets spoke that oh god is going to lead you uh, through the red sea like this one nobody prophesied all these things and all and neither did they prophesy about uh, entering the promised land that all these things will happen but only they had the faith that, that the lord will do it and lord had told them that uh, that they will be uh, delivered into the land of canaan so dear brethren if you see uh, uh, the prophecies uh, using the prophets it only came after the period of uh, kings that to especially in the period of kings if you see so <clears throat> they never prophesied any individual person's uh, life you see uh, they prophesied uh, actually the prophecies regarding the nation of israel as a whole so like for example you take uh, uh, isaiah you take uh, jeremiah you take uh, you see daniel so we whichever you take you see all these prophets are divided into two parts the major prophets and the minor prophets they prophesied about the nation of israel nobody prophesied or foretold anything about the individual uh, life daniel second chapter we have seen the prophecy about the you see multi metallic image about the entire uh, you see uh, uh, the world uh, universal empires how the fifth universal empire is going to be the kingdom of christ that is going to be established so uh, instead of uh, seeking our uh, personal uh, you say life uh, uh, prophecies uh, we should have faith in the lord the lord has pro- pro- uh, promised saying that uh, i will never leave you nor forsake you so that uh, should be a, a more uh, authentic uh, and a trustworthy statement saying that uh, he would never deserted so even after god uh, speaking things when after god uh, see uh, uh, telling and uh, you say promising these things uh, if somebody still wants to know what personally is going to happen in uh, anybody's life in uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow that i don't think uh, that would be a, a faith uh, on the lord and moreover apart from uh, individual uh, prophecies there are lot of prophecies in the bible like for jeremiah ezekiel isaiah revelation we should be keen on understanding these prophecies uh, so what does the bible say you see so uh bible says uh, in uh, matthew 11 13 that uh, all the prophets uh, prophesied only till john the baptist so let us read brother matthew 11 13 brother matthew 11 13 and i feel that this fit to worship him and he said unto me see though do it 
not I, my am the fellow servant and of the veteran that have the testimony of Jesus worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. See, what is the spirit of prophecy? What is the meaning and definition of prophecy in the Bible? If you see, uh, the testimony of Jesus. What is the testimony of Jesus? Telling about Jesus, for telling about Jesus, that itself uh, is a prophecy. Therefore, if you see in Matthew 11, 13 also, it says, all the prophets prophesied till John the Baptist. That means all the majority prophecies where uh, you see, uh, seeing the fulfillment, uh, the typical fulfillment uh, uh, until John the Baptist. Because after that one, Christ was supposed to come. And since then, you see, anything prophecy was actually to be about the prophecy of uh, Jesus Christ. But uh, well, this is actually the spirit of prophecy telling about uh, Jesus Christ. So telling about Jesus Christ is what uh, telling about uh, what Jesus has done in our life. That is not prophecy. That is a testimony. You see, telling about uh, the reason for our faith, everybody, that is not prophecy. So, what is a prophecy means? Means uh, the future things. Uh, in the Bible, God has told the future things, the foretold the future, not only of each individual, each and every, you see, individual persons. Uh, he has prophesied of the entire mankind. Uh, you see, he has told the prophecy of the entire mankind. How the entire mankind will be restored uh, Christ kingdom. How each and every mankind will be resurrected back from the grave. How all the dead souls will come back to life. Uh, how all the eyes and ears of understanding will be opened. How everybody will accept Jesus as the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Uh, so this prophecy is written in the Bible. This is the meaning of prophecy as per the Bible. So let us read 2 Peter 1.9. Second Peter 1 9. Ashish Pudar, if you are free, can you call Brother Krishna? He was there, but I think uh, due to network issue, he got uh, uh, exited. If you can call, it will be very kind. Okay. Mosam okay. Brother, you have the Bible. Can you read? Yes, Brother, I have Bible. Okay. But he that lack these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was pronged from his old sin. Mm, cannot see afar off. So he that doesn't have the character of Christ, he is not able to see the future. Which future? The future of blessings each and every man. The future that God will take care of your life. So he's blind. So we should have faith on the Lord. If you see the previous verses in, from 6, 7 and 8, it says, act your faith, virtue. And virtue, knowledge. That means it's beginning with faith. If you have faith on the Lord, then add character to it. Add godliness to it. Add knowledge to it. Because this helps us to stay strong on the Lord. Even after God promising, if you speculate and doubt on the Lord, and seek for each and every day what is going to happen. 9 o'clock tomorrow, what is going to happen in my life? And 10 o'clock, what is going to happen? Huh? All my, uh, you see, uh, loan will be, be cleared. Will I be getting a good girl? Or uh, will I be getting a good marks or a good job? This prophecy, if you ask from the Lord, there is no difference uh, between the roadside, you see, uh, false prophets in other religion, and there is no difference between, uh, you see, uh, there is no difference between the prophets uh, that are, uh, you see, uh, doing uh, today in this world. So therefore, dear brethren, so we need to uh, understand the proper uh, uh, meaning of it. Okay. Then, uh, then what is the meaning of uh, Joel, uh, second chapter 28 and 29? So let us read Joel 2, 28 and 29, brother. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will power out my spirit upon all flesh and your son and your daughter shall prophesy your old men shall dream dream dreams your young men shall see visions and also upon the servant and upon the handmaids 
in those days will I pour out my spirit. Ah, will I pour out my spirit? Yeah, you see, it says, ah, huh? that God shall pour out uh, His Holy Spirit upon all flesh. And uh, what will happen when God pours the Holy Spirit upon all flesh? They shall prophesy. They shall see dream. They shall see visions. Based on the scriptures only, everybody think, uh, everybody claim that brother, if the Holy Spirit is there. We can prophesy, we can see visions, we can see dreams. But just read that verse again. If you read the verse carefully, again it says, When will this happen? When God will pour out His Spirit upon whom? Whom? Huh? His Spirit upon the servants. Ah, read that verse again, 28, brother. Uh, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Wait. Huh? Pour out his spirit upon? All flesh. All. Underline that word all. All means what? Is there any exception? Leaving only a few people and taking only a few people? Huh? All it... human beings. Yes, brother. Very good, brother. When God shall pour out His Holy Spirit upon everybody, all human being, then this will happen. Now you tell me, now is God's Holy Spirit poured upon everybody? Yeah? Is it poured upon all human beings? Is it poured upon your Prime Minister and our Prime Minister? Is it poured upon your Chief Minister, our Chief Minister? Is it poured upon all our neighbors, brother? Huh? Is it poured? Yes or no? It's not. No, very good. Correct. It's not poured. But now, Holy Spirit is there now. Then what about that one? That is told in verse 29. Read, brother. Read verse 29. Mm. Uh, read from here. See, and also... Uh, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days I will I pour out my spirit. Ah, he said, I will also pour upon my servant. You see, God says he shall pour out his spirit upon his servants, it seems. Huh? So, here you make a difference. First it says, God shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh. He says, I will pour out my spirit upon the servants also. Now, if it is poured upon everybody, why should you pour again on the servants? Actually, this verse is actually speaking the incident in an upside down manner. That means, first, God shall pour out his spirit upon servants. Now, God chosen church Christians. Then, he shall pour out his spirit upon the whole world in the thousand years. But uh, this verse doesn't say that when the Spirit shall be poured upon his servants, they shall speak prophecies. They shall see vision. No, it doesn't work. The Bible doesn't say so. You can clearly read. And also upon the servant, upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my Spirit. Okay. You Do you have any more clear reference for this in the Bible? Yes, we have it. If you can open your Bible, brother, it will be very kind. Uh, brother, Judges okay. 6th chapter. See, in Judges 6 chapter, there is a, a story about Gideon. Gideon is chosen by the Lord to go and fight the Midianites. At that time, Gideon uh, doubts whether it is really the Lord or not. Then he asks the Lord, Lord, uh, tell me what to do. Huh? Uh, is it really you who are selecting me? If it is really you, please give me a sign. God tells, okay, tell me what sign you want. He asks, Lord, Today, I'll place wool on the field, on the ground. So, let uh, the dew from heaven fall only on the uh, wool. Yes. So, the same day, that is what happened. And uh, next day, again, Gideon asked God, Lord, don't feel bad. Please, one more request. God tells, okay, tell me what you want. The next day, please, let the ground full be wet with a dew from heaven, except the wool. 
then the god does the same thing the next day okay you can read that one from verse 37 to 40 brother mosam brother read brother ha huh. okay brother behold i will put a flea of wool in the floor and if the dew be on the fleece only and it be dry upon all the earth beside then shall i know that thou will save israel by mine hand as thou has said and it was so for he rose up early on the mor morna morrow and thrust the flea together and wring the dew out of the fleece a bowl full of water and gideon said unto god let not thine anger be hot against me and i will speak but this once let me prove i pray thee but this once will the flee let it now be dry upon dry only upon the flee and upon all the ground let there be dew mm. and god did so that night for uh-huh. it was dry upon and flee one only yes. and there was dew on all the ground very good now why did uh, this uh, sign was given actually this sign has got a meaning okay now what is the meaning of dew in the bible ah huh? the dew which falls from heaven in the bible psalms holy spirit correct brother holy spirit that is given in psalms 133 verses 1 to 3 okay if you want you can read now or else you can read it later also okay brother uh, psalm i okay brother ah uh, psalms 1 that you want to read it you can read not right ओके ब्रदर इट इज लाइक द प्रीसियस ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bread even aaron beard that went down to the skirts of his garments okay, this is and, the holy spirit okay the anointing yeah. oil they were anointing in the olden days for a priest a king and all huh? then continue huh? as the dew of harmon ah as the dew of harmon the anointing oil is compared to the dew of harman see yeah. uh, so that is oil means what the holy spirit so it is speaking about the holy spirit so first what happened the dew fell only on the wool that means now the holy spirit is poured only upon the wool the chosen class who is the chosen class we studied now many are called uh, pure chosen and still few are faithful we studied about the church class about the subject about church you see little flock great multitude huh? you remember mosam brother mm, i i was i think i was not in on that class is not there okay i'll send you the recordings and notes also please read it okay so okay. so this yeah. is actually speaking about the god's chosen people who believe in christ now okay even in this okay. evil world when satan is there those who believe in christ their eyes are open their ears are open unto them the holy spirit is given but it never says that they will prophesy okay their god is given the holy spirit for what to develop christ likeness okay now the second day what happened there was no dew upon the wool that means what once the church is glorified then the holy spirit will be poured upon the, all the ground the whole world will be anointed with the holy spirit at that time the church won't be on the ground on the earth they will be in heavenly salvation so when the holy spirit will be poured upon all mankind then these things will be fulfilled so now we need to be very careful in trusting these visions dreams and all these things why why but we need to be careful because matthew 7 21 22 jesus said not everybody who says lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of god uh, you remember no so we should be huh? very careful we, we can tell lord i have prophesied in your name i have done miracles in your name 
रीड बुधर मैथ्यू सेवन ट्वेंटी वन मैथ्यू सेवन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू बुधर हाँ Uh, Mosam, brother, you there? Yeah, brother, I am here. I am just opening it. Seven twenty one. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Mm. Then continue. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in the name? And in the name have set out devils, and in the name done many wonderful works. Ah, then, and then, hmm. and then, will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work in iniquity. Iniquity, because now, now this time, not from the beginning of the church period. Now what we are living at the last days. Jesus says, last days. If anybody is doing this one, he shall be. All the workers of iniquity. Why? Because we are living in the days we are almost we live at the edge of the you see second coming of Jesus. Very soon he is going to establish his kingdom on this earth. During this time, what will Satan do? He will himself do counterfeit miracles. You see, to counter attack the work of Jesus. Read Matthew twelve twenty six for us. Matthew twelve twenty six. Hmm. Matthew twelve twenty six. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Mm. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. Then how shall his kingdom stand? He knows very well that uh, shortly Jesus' uh, return is going to happen. His kingdom is going to be established. That means his kingdom shall be totally destroyed very soon. At that time, what does this verse say? He will be divided against himself. He shall cast out say himself. It seems sir, Satan himself shall do miracles. Why? Because he knows that his kingdom is not going to stand. So this is the time Jesus warned. In the last days, many shall come and say, "I have prophesied." He say, "You are workers of iniquity." Let us read one more verse, brother. Second Thessalonians, second chapter, verses eight to twelve. And then shall that week be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of His coming, even Him. Whose coming is after the working of Satan, will all power and sign and lying wonders see? and with all ah see working of Satan with all power and lying, huh? and signs lying wonders it seems sir. So Jesus second coming will be accompanied by Satan's all wonders, all power, all signs, all lying wonders it seems sir. Then ah. Huh? And with all deceivableness of unrighteous unrighteousness in them that perish because ah, they receive unrighteousness, deceivableness of unrighteousness in that perish because why? Huh? Because they receive not the love of the truth. Ah, that because love. they received not the love of the truth. They did not receive the love of the truth. You see, they did not love the Bible. Huh? What is the truth? Huh? Not everybody who holds the Bible in the hand are the Christians. You know, who is a Christian? Huh? One who follows the Bible. One who understands the Bible. Therefore, you see, there is a lot of difference between Bible study and Bible reading. Here, what we are doing is Bible study. One who doesn't want to know or study and understand the truth, that means they are on the path of perishing. They are on the path of destruction. They don't love the truth. And into these people itself, what will happen? It seems uh, all these miracles, signs, wonders shall happen. It seems because they did not like the word of God. Next, brother, continue. Uh. That they might be saved, and for this cause, God shall send them a strong dissolution that they should believe a lie, uh. that they all might be damned. 
ஒன்றும் <laughs> god's holy spirit does as soon as it is given to god's children is which will lead into all truth john 16:13 brother how by when he the spirit of truth is came come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatever he shall hear that shall be speak and he will show you things to come See? he will show you things to come you see huh what is he he shall lead you into all truth bible truth the truth about soul soul dies the truth about hell hell is not a place of torment the truth about the uh, lord's uh, memorial supper it has to be taken early on the truth about baptism that is not for repentance it is to die into christ death the truth about resurrection for the entire mankind the truth about the salvation for everybody in the thousand years this is the truth the holy spirit will first lead you if it is not leading you into this path it is to be doubted whether it is really the holy spirit or not today imagine so many people are led into false deceptions i'm preaching from the pulpit especially the ladies you see the sisters can the other sisters permitted to preach brother can the sisters preach brother no brother oh you know you know very well bible says apostle paul says a uh, sister a uh, lady uh, that means a uh, uh, woman is not permitted to preach uh, she has to keep quiet in that church she is not permitted to lead or uh, you see usurp authority over the man so you uh, think uh, if it is the same holy spirit which is working through uh, uh, everybody means uh, then it should be the same thing no it should be the same truth it should be the same subjects it should be the same guidance but why so many differences sir especially against the bible this itself is a clear proof that uh, this is not the real work of the holy spirit isaiah 820 to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to the to the to this or it is because there is no light in them okay? if they don't speak according to the bible it means that there is no Holy Spirit. Light means what? Holy Spirit. No. Understanding in them. So, we should be very cautious. So, last, you see, there's one verse which are usually used to prove that uh, the Christians are, uh, uh, you see, they can do miracles, all these things and all healing and everything and all. Huh? So, let us read that verse also. Mark 16 chapter verses 15 to 18 brother. Mark 16 chapter 15 to 18 brother. Okay brother. And he said unto them, Go, you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believe and is baptized shall be saved but he that believe not shall be damned and the sign shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly things it shall not harm them they shall play hand on six and the sick recover hmm so finished okay so yeah. you say yeah. you say ha uh, go and preach the, the gospel to the ha uh, every creature in this world and he that uh, he believed and baptized shall be saved is him sir but he d- d- doesn't believe what will happen is him sir he damned. shall be damned oh, oh, oh okay next then it says they shall cast devils okay they shall speak new tongues okay they shall take serpents eh? and drink deadly thing what will happen is himself nothing shall happen is him those over whom they lay their hands they shall recover okay good what's oh, so the you are christian no yes brother really tell me don't uh, later on you should not change your words you are christian no i am believer <laughs> <laughs> well you are not a christian then 
Don't worry, I'll give you a test. Okay, we'll do a test up on you. Okay. Okay. Now you take one poison bottle. Is there any poison in your room? Any deadly thing where if you drink you can die. Anything is there in your room. <laughs> mm-hmm. Take it and drink. <laughs> <laughs> what does the Bible say? Huh? He that believes if he drink any deadly thing, nothing shall happen, it seems. That means the poison should not work at all upon God's children. That means none of the disease should be attracted to God's children. None, none of the Christians should die. Correct, no? Yes. <laughs> Imagine. Then that means nobody should die of sickness at all. Huh? Then really, if you think, uh, is it uh, what the Bible says? Huh? Practically, is it uh, really the thing that the uh, Bible says? Huh? If you drink poison, will you die or not, brother? If you take in uh, and... Uh, a serpent, a poisonous, deadly serpent, if it bites, will we die or not? Mm, I think uh, uh, this is totally uh, spiritual. Ah, very good, brother. Exactly what you told. It is, there should be a different meaning. See, yeah. you, you have a KGV Bible, no? Yes, brother, I have KGV. Mark 16, chapter, verses 9. 16? Mark, Mark 16. 16 verse 9. Okay. Before, okay. Verse, before verse 9, is there any subheading written? Any heading written there? 16 9. Before, before verse 9, anything subheading or any footnote is given there? Uh, which, which when Jesus previous? Mark 16 chapter verses 9. Okay. Before verse 9, there is a subheading, no? For generally yeah. in the Bible, there is a subheading put, no? Is there any subheading put there? Yes, brother. What is there? Uh, little faith. Ah, okay. Any footnote is given there? Food and uh, bread. Ah, what is given there? Any footnote? Um, below, below the Bible, it, uh, on the page, on the bottom of the page, they would have written, no? Some words, some comments on that verse. Is given there? Mm, you have not browse no bread. Ah, okay, that's all. Anything else? Mm. No, not given. Huh? Uh, just a minute, but I'll, I'll see deeply. Ah. Any any notes, any points upon Mark 16, 9 to 20? Anything is given there? Brother, you are telling uh, Brother uh, Mosum to look in KGV, right, Brother? Ah, one minute, one minute. No, no, no. Wait, wait, one minute. Okay, Mosum is not there, na? Okay. Is Mark 16, chapter 9 to 20 put it in brackets? Is it put in brackets? Are the verses put in brackets? No, Brother. Ah, okay. So... Do you have NAV with you? New International Version Bible in you? With you? Not, brother. Not, okay. You have Nepali Bible? Yes. Okay. Uh, just see if there is anything mentioned about those verses in your Nepali Bible. Ashish, brother, anything is mentioned in uh, Nepali Bible? No, no. Nothing, brother. Ah, okay, okay. Good. Okay, fine. Let us uh, forget it. I'll later on WhatsApp to you, brother. See, these verses... Mark 16 chapter verses 9 to 20 is not there in the original manuscripts at all. Okay. After the meeting, I will send you the uh, photocopy of the Bible where it is mentioning that it's not there in the Bible at all. Okay. Ashish Pada, do you have any AV with you? Do you have a Bible where it is mentioned in the Bible that this is spurious? Yeah, yeah. In NIV, I have NIV. In NIV, ah. it's mentioned. Hmm. Read with her, please. Okay. Yeah, on the on the heading of uh, verse nine, it says the most reliable early manuscripts and other ancient witnesses do not have Mark sixteen nine to twenty. Okay, brother. Brother, kindly put it in the group, brother, so that uh, Mosam brother also can read it. If you can do it now, okay. also it's very good. 
So, uh, most of the if you see, these scriptures are not there in the original Bible. How? You can tell me how, brother, is it possible? How it is not there in the Bible? Okay? Uh, I'll prove it to you. Do you have a Nepali Bible with you, brother? Now, yeah, brother, I have. Read Matthew 6 chapter. Matthew 6. Verse... Uh, Matthew 6, uh, verse uh, 13. Uh, in Nepali, brother? Hi, in Nepali. Amilai Purichama Pona Nadin Hos, Tara Dustavata Chutaun Hos, Kinabone Rajya, Prakroma, Ramohima, Sadasravada, Tapaikai Hun. Amen. Oh, good. Okay, it's there in your Bible. So if you had any way, it would have been very good. Because this verse, half of the verse is not there in the original Bible at all. Okay, anyway. Uh, but did you put it in the group? Ashish, no, brother, I'm not able to click the photo while doing the calls. I'm okay, okay. Not a problem, not a problem. We'll see later. Okay. Well, see, I'll, we'll see. I'll prove it to you from the Bible itself. See, Mark 16 chapter. First, what does it say? 15th verse. Go and preach to everybody in the world. If they get baptized, they will be saved. If they are not baptized, it says they, they will be damned. Okay. Now, where does the Bible say that if you don't believe now, you will be damned? Read John, third chapter. Keep your hand like this. Read in English Bible. John, third chapter, 16, 17. Read John, third chapter. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Uh, should have for everlasting God, life. Next. Uh, huh? For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, hmm. but that he would, hmm. but that the world through him might, might be saved. See? He did not send to condemn the world. Underline it. He did not send to damn the world. Not to condemn, but to save the world. Now, how come if uh, this verse is saying that uh, Jesus is uh, coming to save the world, how can Mark 16 chapter say that to damn the world? Therefore, this verse is not there in the Bible. Next, what does it say? Huh? They shall speak in new tongues. Okay, how many people spoke in new tongues? Huh? How many people? Jesus himself was filled with all this, but he himself did not speak with new tongues. Huh? Then, if it says, verse 18, huh? take uh, the serpent in your hand. You need deadly poison also if you drink. Huh? Nothing will happen, it seems. No, actually, mm -hmm. did uh, God ever tell to do all these things to tempt God in the Bible? Remember the temptations which uh, the devil gave to our Lord. The first temptation the devil gave to our Lord was what? If you are the son of God, make this stone as bread and eat. What did Jesus do? What did Jesus do? Did uh, Jesus, Jesus do? Uh... Jesus uh, said to him that a man doesn't uh, live. Very good. Very good. Why did not Jesus do? He said, if you are the son of God. If you are the son of God means what? If you are really your father's son, do it. If somebody tells to us, what will you do? You will definitely do it and show. But Jesus did not do it. The next temptation, what did the devil huh, tell to Jesus? Fall from the top of the temple. Huh? Why? Because God has told you to huh? that he will give a protection angel no? that uh, he will uh, protect you from your uh, huh? from all the evil. So he told to jump from the temple. Did Jesus jump, jump from the top of the temple? Huh? No. Why? What was the reply of Jesus? Huh? Because uh, that uh, uh, world was already of Christ. Uh, read this verse, Matthew 4 7, the reply of Jesus. See, it's on the screen, brother. See the reply of Jesus. Jesus said unto him, He is written again, though that shall not tempt the Lord my God. Uh, that is one of the commandments that you shall not tempt the Lord thy God. Yeah. See? Not tempt the Lord thy God. That's the reason Jesus did not fall from the temple. If we, being the followers of Jesus, if just to prove that we are Christians, if we take a serpent or else if we drink a poisonous thing, then what is we are doing? 
Tempting the Lord. We are not supposed to tempt the Lord. Anything by chance, if it happens by accident, definitely the Lord will save us. But to prove mm. that we are Christians, if we do these things, this is not the will of God. Therefore, these verses are not there in the Bible at all. And moreover, it says, if you place your hands on any sick people, they will recover it. Today, if you see, majority of the hospitals are Christian. St. Martha's Hospital, Baptist Hospital, a Christian no, Fellowship Hospital, St. John's Hospital, Philomena Hospital, a Christian Medical Institute. A majority of the hospitals are Christians. No, why keep hospital? Instead of that one, you can call every Christian to sit on the table, bring everybody in the queue, place their hands, heal them and send up freely. No? Why didn't they do it? Because this is not there in the original Bible. After the meeting, we will send you this verse. How it is not there in the Bible. So, this is all added during the dark ages. How it was added, why it was added, we are going to see all these things. But anyway, so seeking signs and all is not the duty of the God children. So, Matthew 12, 39, brother. Matthew 12, 39. Hmm. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation skid after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Uh, but the sign of prophet Jonah. Who is who desires the sign is himself. Good people are. Huh? Evil, adulterous generation. You see, God's children never seek the sign. They have faith on the Lord that he will definitely, you see, bless us. Therefore, what is sufficient? The word of God is sufficient to develop us into Christ likeness. To bring us to heavenly salvation, what is sufficient? Bible. Read with the last verse, 2 Timothy 3rd chapter 16 and 17. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Hmm. See, word of God is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction. Why? That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, 100% developed unto all good works. So, what more do we require? You tell me. Therefore, dear brethren, this is the end of our you see, the class about tongues, miracles, and uh, you see, wonders, visions, prophecies. So, any doubts you have, we can ask. Most of the any questions, any doubts you have, we can ask. Mm, not brother. So, you don't have any doubts, any questions? Uh, no, no doubts. 